Okay, so hey, my little frilly devotees, it's gonna be a really, really quick, really brief Lolita vlog. And if you're wondering why you're hearing the sound of like a babbling brook in like nature in the back, um, I'm trying to keep the background noises low because stuff is going on today and I need to keep the background noise noises to a minimum. So, now that you have an explanation on that, let's get into today's vlog because it is and has been for a while convention season and this week is tampa's main anime convention um metrocon um <laughs> not getting into my own personal feelings about metrocon but i um i am like heavily on the fence if i'll even be able to go this year i wrapped myself into doing at least two panels with my community um but uh, it, it, there's so much going on this week and in addition to like fun happy convention things i have to do grown-up things because school's starting back in like two weeks thank god and um i have to do friday is my stepkid's open house for his school so I gotta do that, and that's the day I'm supposed to do my panels. But the panels, thankfully, are spread kind of far out. So the one panel I think is like at at like 10 or 11, and then the other panel is at like 8 p.m. That means I had to leave and come back. I would have to leave and come back anyway because of stuff. But I'm gonna most definitely have to leave and come back because of like school, having to get my stepkid ready for school. But um, man. Con season's coming around, and I know there's a lot of hatred, excuse me, when Lolita's wear, um, Lolita to an anime convention. I don't understand this, kind of. It's one of those things that, it, it's like, that's how a lot of people discovered the fashion. You didn't just wake up one day and like, oh, I know about this, I'm gonna go do this. You didn't learn about it through osmosis, you learned about it more than likely at a convention. So... My thing is this, because one one of the panels I wanted to to be a part of was Lolita in anime. Um, basically, there's a lot of well, off the top of my head, I know at least of two animes that fall right into that Lolita category. Actually, three. Um, Black Butler with the OG style. Um, that's really like leaning into the OG style of Lolita. Um, Go Sick, which I, that's like. A lot of people don't know about Go Sick. At least I think people don't know about Go Sick. I don't know. But Go Sick, um, I forget what that's about. I watched a couple episodes way back. And it's this blonde girl with this really long hair. And she wore this really long black dress. And that kind of ish was going into Lolita. And then the last one most definitely was Rose and Maiden. They, like, I think a couple, like, years, like, at least, like, ten years ago. When Rose and Maiden was still heavily going around. Um, they partnered with... I want to say either Metamorphosis or Baby the Starshine Bright. They partnered with one of those two brands of Lolita to come out with actual, like, Lolita um, styles for Rose and Maiden. So, it, the two can coincide with one another. And a lot of Lolitas that I know do cosplay. They do Lolita. They do, like, a myriad of things. You don't just have to, like, Lolita just to like Lolita, you can still go to an anime con and enjoy anime, because I still, like, I don't watch anime as much as I did back in the day, but I still watch anime, I was watching, um, Sayuki Relo Blast yesterday on Crunchyroll, um, and I've been a huge Kazuna, Kazuya Minakura fan for years since the original Sayuki came out, um, I was watching a couple months ago something called Classical Loy, because I love Mozart and classical music, and that literally has Mozart and classical music in it. So, I was watching that. That was fun. So, like, you can like anime. You can like Lolita. You can live in those two worlds. And there's nothing wrong with living in those two worlds. I don't know why people get so uppity about, you know, oh, you can't, you can't be a Lolita in, like, anime. It's, it's just, no. That's, that's, that's just so, like, 
um, I forget the term, weeaboo, I think it is, it's just another stupid fucking term people use, um, that I don't like, so, <laughs> do what you want, live how you want, have fun how you deem your life to be fun, do not listen to, to people coming in out of the woodwork, oh, you can't do that because of X, you can do whatever you want because it's your life, so, how about that shit, so, <laughs> <sighs> there's that, and I'm getting ready to, <laughs> I'm hoping I'm getting ready to go to MetroCon this week, it's, it's so much going on, and I don't know if I'm going to make it, and I really want to make it, because I don't want to be a disappointment to my community, so, hopefully I can get everything together, where I can do both, but me and MetroCon have got definite issues, if you saw my stuff last year, um, I'm not going to be modeling in the fashion show, I specifically left myself out of modeling in the fashion show this year because I can't model. I am a horrible model. I don't know what I'm doing. I can talk to you in a panel till like all the colors drained out my face. I can talk to you like I can talk to people till the end of time. That that does not bother me. I know a lot of people they're they're like I think the biggest fear next to death is public speaking and I think public speaking is actually people are more afraid of public speaking than dying. So which baffles my brain because I have hosted panels at Otagon of all places um where there were like 200 plus people in a room and I love talking to a crowd of people it's it's amazing it's so much fun but get me to stand in on stage and like just standing there trying to be cute I am so intensely awkward and I don't like it I did it I wasn't going to do it last year but my community was like, like, they really needed people. And I was like, I can't let my community down. I'll suck it up for, I'll do it for the calm. Because that's, those, those are my ladies. So I got to help them out. So I did it. And afterward, I just regretted it so much. Because I am a horrible, horrible model. I will never model again. Oh my God, no. I'll do behind the scenes work for the fashion show. I will not model. I'm, I'm bad at it. I'm bad at it. Everybody has something they're bad at. That is one of the things I am absolutely the worst at. So, I wish them luck. I'm, I'm not even going to go Saturday. Um, like I said, I'll be going Friday to help out with whatever panel, but mm -mm. I'm not doing a fashion show no more. I can't handle it. I had a great idea for their fashion show for next year if they were interested, but like, I'm not modeling. Just, I can't do it. I suck at modeling, and that's fine. So, <laughs> But, yeah, that's coming up, and I'm, I'm like, hoping that, like, they'll do really good and everything will be cool. So, even though I have my definite issues with MetroCon, but that's a topic for a different day. <laughs> um, the other thing I want to discuss really quickly, I am slowly falling in love with Victorian Maiden. <sighs> they don't have a lot of stuff that's for plus-size people like myself, um, but... The couple things they do have are just so cute, and I'm like, oh, I want you so much. Um, let me show you the first thing. That's their new thing. This lace overdress. I thought it was an actual dress, but I think it's an overdress, which means it goes over whatever dress you already have. Oh, I hate that this is so blurry, and one day I will get my shit together. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There we go. That is so adorable right there. You want to know what the bust is on this? For this overdress? It is 155 centimeters. Tape measure! Let's work this out. 155. 140. 155 cm right there. Which is 61 inches. 61 inches! So, okay, since that, this is an overdress, right? Oh, sorry, you can't even see it. Since this is an overdress, okay? What you could probably do is, say you have a JSK that you're not particularly fond of, like it looks okay, but you don't feel necessarily comfortable in it, and you wanted something to like, bring it up a notch. Bringing it up. I'm sorry I can't show this more face on. See what happens when I do it head on? So, we got a slanty. It's going to be a little slanty. But, yeah. Face, like, 
You can have a party in this, and then if you get some big ass titties, your boobs might fit in it, which is just always wonderful when you when you have ragtasticness going on. So it comes in what colors? <laughs> ragtasticness. Oh, it comes in ivory. Oh, God, sick. let me see if I can't. I know what I have to do. I have to turn this super low. Comes in ivory, which you can still barely see this. Um, it comes in that gray. This is like red. Ivory close up. Red close up. And gray. So, that's like some good colors if, if like you, you working with stuff. Um, or if you, like, I don't know. I don't know what you could do or, but, or like if you, like say it's a hot day. Like it is usually in a lot of places. <laughs> You could take this and like wear a JSK and then put this over top of it. So that way, you know, you're you're not cuz a lot of people say you have to wear a blouse. That would be a good out for you if you didn't want to wear a blouse with it. So, um I forget what this is called. Oh, it's just called the lace overdress cuz I had to translate it. But it goes up to 61. 61 of these inches. And 155 of these centimeters. I'm saying no. Um, Victorian Maiden never went that high. Victorian Maiden was always the tiniest of the tiny. <laughs> like, there's stuff, I was looking at some of their other stuff where I was kind of looking at it longingly, like, <laughs> I have to get, like, a monster breast reduction and, like, two, three good, three, four good ribs removed. But it was looking so cute and... I was like, I can't wear this. God damn it. Shit. Um, here is their lacy afternoon. I am on the fence with lacy afternoon. I don't know if it's supposed to be lacy or it's saying lazy. This is saying lazy afternoon at the top. But I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's cute. This is what it looks like. It's cute, but. I don't know how I feel about it. Like it's, it's, I'm, I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it. I think it's cute, but it's something about it I'm kind of like not feeling. But that even goes up to what was it? One of these. Oh no, this only goes up to. Oh no, 113, 113, which was like 44 or something, 41. No, 44 and like some change. That's what um 113 is. 13, I know you can't, it's blurry, I can't really get it, but, yeah, that goes up to, like, 44 and, and some change, so, if you're kind, kind of rectastic and you can still fit in stuff, that might be another good option, but, I don't know how I feel about lazy, 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 lacy, something like that, it's saying lazy afternoon at the top, I know on Twitter once they had it translated as lacy afternoon, but there's no lace on here, yeah, there's no lace on this, so, I guess it is lazy afternoon. And then this. I think this was going around last year and it was titled the Juliet dress. But it's it's been rebranded as something is just one piece frill. I am loving this to no end. This goes up to a pretty high bust. What was it? 153. <gasps> Where's 153? Here's 153. There's 60. I know it's upside down. It looks like, like a fucked up 90, but it's actually 60. 60 inch bust or under bust. That one's because the um the ribbon or the tie thing. Oh, come on. Come on, y'all. The tie thing, as you see, goes underneath the the bust. So 60. You can get like some chest together and six like I have I have that and some change a lot of change like I'm getting like not just nickels and dimes left I'm getting quarters and dollars back on this one so I love this dress I am tempted to ask for this for Christmas because I am in I'm starting to like Victorian Maiden I never thought I would li like but do you know what when I think about it way back way 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 back 
<laughs> when I first started getting into Lolita, they were like one of the top like things to look at and drool over and I was always in love with their stuff. For for a stint though, they got a little funky because I remember that um pink flamingo JSK. I don't know what their deal was with that. And that was when I stopped looking at Victorian Maid. I was like, oh, Victorian Maid, you just lost your path and it's just gone. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But they, they seem like they're going, they're, they've gotten way back on track. I think they just, they just, everybody has a moment where they're just like off the rails. So I don't even know, but that, that was, that was not what was popping. And then they have this. Which I can't fit. This is not in any usable style that I can squeeze my breast into. That I am. I'm starting to really like this dress. And it pains me that I'm liking that dress because I can't wear it. Um, I forget what it's called. And the one piece is cute too. Hang on. I'll just do that because, yeah. That is looking really sweet. I'm really liking that. And I'm like, I can't wear it. It's not in any comparable sizes for my breasts to squeeze into. Yeah, Max Bust is 89. You know how we were high up on the tape measure? Now we got to go way, way to hell down. 89, you say? Here's 89, and you're looking at 35. I ain't seen a 35-inch chest since I was like 10, 5, something like that. Another little, little kid. So this, this shit's not happening. As much as I love their dress, that's a, 89 is 35-inch bust. That's the max bust on that 35 inches. <sighs> like... Maybe if I was, like I said, 10. But I started developing young, so, and that's why all that happened. Because I started developing at, like, 8. So, I was wearing my mom's bras at 9. It was ridiculous. So, I haven't seen a 35-inch bus in many a moon, and it's gone now. So, that makes me sad, but Innocent World is really cute. You know who else I'm really loving these days? And, again, no comparable sizes is um metamorphous tend to feel they have some exceedingly adorable stuff going on and i'm real mad they don't have any good sizes i'm also on on facebook on the, the chinese chinese lolita site they're pissing me off something fierce because there's all this adorable stuff and again nobody has any custom sizes and it's all just oh you gotta be like a size three and not that there's anything wrong i'm not hating on people that are skinny with no breath i'm just saying when you're plump and have big honkers it'd be nice to get some stuff like this is an innocent world jfk this is the one i was telling you about my strawberry this was like for year like the year that this came out i fell in love with it and i was like i would do anything to have it and at the time innocent world was clocking really forgiving sharing look at this i still have room not a lot but like, I still have room. I'm talking at the shearing. Their shearing was hella forgiving. <laughs> and they don't make nothing at no shearing. Like, I f went, when I was in Japan two years ago, I found their Harajuku place. After passing it twice last time I was in Japan, in the summer I was in Japan, and almost passed it a second time when I went to Japan a second time, found it. It was hot as hell in there for whatever reason. It was on fire in there. And it has so much cuteness in there, but no sharing. People, can we get some sharing together? Not everybody is a 35-inch bust. Not everybody is, like, skinny. Can we please get some skin? Like, in China, seriously, you really need to consider getting some custom shit together. Because I'm telling you, you could blow the Japanese Lolita market out of the water if you started offering a lot more of your places with custom. So, because Lord knows I would take my money. Just take it. I Like, take the, the, the dollar fifty I have to my name. Just take it. Just, and just, I don't even know anymore. So, I just wish more places would have custom. So, but, I don't know. I don't even know how to ask in Mandarin. Like, could y'all offer some custom, please? Because you're killing me. But, that is all I have for today. 
and we'll see how MetroCon shakes out. <sighs> if you are in or around Tampa, MetroCon is this coming weekend, the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 3rd through the 6th, or it's a four-day convention, which it shouldn't be, but, um, yeah, so if you want to come on down, hang out with the little leaders, I will probably be there Friday, um, doing stuff, talking to people, I don't know, wondering where my life went wrong, but, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with wearing Lolita to conventions, and there's nothing wrong with liking anime and being a Lolita. So, don't let anybody tell you anything differently. It's just, people are crazy. My God, just let people fucking live the way they want to live. Damn. So, that's all I have for you, and I'll talk to you next time.